Hello and welcome back to Eyes of Fire Season 2 Episode 11, where in this episode we're doing something new. We are looking into Botania. If you don't know what Botania is, it is basically a magical slash industrial maybe mod? It is a magical mod and it looks amazing. Now, I've seen videos with it, but I haven't actually played it, like actually done anything with it myself, so this is going to be new for me, but I have done research, so hopefully I have gotten something right and hopefully you can learn from this as well but before we do start there's a little bit of grass terraforming that i want to do outside the base so yeah let's start this episode off with a time lapse let's do it Alright, time lapse complete and as you can see we have converted this whole area into dirt and the grass is already spreading. I think Arox is very excited for when his entire area is for grass and hopefully we can actually get some hay bales in here as well soon and maybe even a roof. Um, but I think we will probably make a make a like a proper home for him in the future. But anyways, this is what we have done and the grass is spreading. I actually did have to go and grab some more dirt but we... Um, we managed to get it done. Now what I want to do in this episode as well is actually start a little bit of a automated farm here, but I think that is going to be another time lapse, so let's do that uh, later. I want to get started with Botania. So I have done a little bit of research and this is some of the things that we need to get started with it. Um, so we need this stuff called living rock and living wood in order to get properly started. This is how you start in Botania. Now, the way you get living wood and living rock is by using the pure daisy. And I say using, but I'm going to show you how you do it because you do a bunch of stuff in the world. Now, to get the pure daisy, you need to do a little bit of a ritual. So you have the petal, and then you will get the pure daisy. But you need mystical white petals for that. And to get those, we need... This right here, mystical white flower or mis tall mystical white flower. Now, the way you actually get this, um, wait. Oh, that, that, that's cool, that's cool. Around the world, you may stumble upon a large variety of mystical flowers. Spotting these flowers doesn't take much work as they glow faintly and sparkle. They come in total of 16 different colors and they're around the world, etc. And we do actually have some. Now, the issue is, we need the white ones, and I only have two. I only have two of those. Um, you know what, I'm gonna keep that. Actually, immersive engineering will be put on the shelf and we get the Lexica Botania. If you want to make this, by the way, uh, if you want to make the book, you can just use any sort of sapling and then a book and then you can get uh, this lexicon right here. Um, but yes, as you can see, I only have two, but there is a way of getting actually these um, by using floral fertilizer. And to make this, we need bone meal and we need some sort of dye. So let's take a look. I haven't actually not dived deeper into this. So we have a bunch of bone meal here. Uh, I don't think we can use white dye. That would be interesting if we could, but I highly doubt that we can. We can actually. Okay, so if we don't have any other uh, abilities for dye, then we can do that. Um, purple dye. I don't know if we can mix dyes actually. So we have these mystical yellow flowers, but they give the wrong petal. We don't need that petal, we need something else. So apparently I don't have anything else that can give me um, dye in here. Now I want to test if you can actually cross dye. So if I put this here, this here, you can actually. You can, okay. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make um, I think that, because then I can do that, and then I can have that, and that is pretty much all the bone meal that I have, and have to my, have, bleh, 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 <laughs> have available. So we have six floral fertilizer, now our goal is to get these mystical white flowers, so all you do is you just right click on grass, and oh, there we go, we actually got one, and we got a bunch of other ones as well that will 
probably become useful in the future. Now it is random as you can see, so hopefully we get what we really want. <laughs> no? We get a bunch of others. We got one white one. So that's good. Hmm. Okay, a little bit disappointed in that because we need quite a few of these. Um, but maybe we will just have to get more in the future. Because if you see in here... Where, where is it? Pure Daisy, let's put that there. As you can see, we need either the mystical white petal or we need the white shimmering mushroom. Oh, wait, do I have mushrooms? Do I have mushrooms? Hold up. I don't think I do, but mushrooms do grow in the nether. But then again, um, hmm, I just used my bone meal. <laughs> Whoopsie, had I known that I would probably have gone to the end, not the end, nether and seen what I could do. I don't re think you can make bone meal out of that. No, you cannot. All right, that's fine. That is completely fine. We have three so far. Um, I guess that will have to do. Let's try anyway. Um, so to make these per daisy, we need the petal right here. So that is just cobblestone, any sort of like flower or petal here and the cobblestone slabs. So let us try that. I have the cobblestone already in my hands. Uh, it's just going to check if we have any slabs, but I think it has to be cobblestone. So I think from my understanding, we can just use any of these flowers right here. So do this and wait, how did you make it again? Right. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> that is not it. Maybe it... Oh, I'm an idiot. I needed the slabs. So slabs here. And boom. We could probably have used the flower. Let's check, actually. I'm not going to use it. Maybe I need the petals. I don't know. We're going to use the petal right there. One petal. I probably need a chest mainly for Botania stuff, but uh, it's fine. So, uh, I'm not actually 100% sure how you use this. Um, let's put the... How big is the grass area up there? Not big at all. Let's do it right here. We can always move it. So, firstly, I want to make sure that I can't place it and then right-click this thing with bone meal. Because if I can, that would be ideal. Also, what I'm going to make really quick is a trapdoor. <laughs> now, if I right-click this, it becomes tall. At the... Did I just lose the entire thing? Excuse me? <laughs> Did I just lose the whole thing? Nah. Nah. Do I not have shears? I need... I need... Give me iron. Shears. Shears. If I just lost a flower to that. Okay, at least I got a tall one back, so I can... If I had more bone meal, I could actually turn these mystical white flowers into a tall one, which would then give me four. Okay, a little bit annoying. We lost some there, but it's fine. So, how do we make this again? So, that and then... I need to double check how you use this thing. Right, you take a bucket of water, then you put it in, and then... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> right, I think I got this. So, you do need water in it, so water, and then I think you need to... Yes, you need to throw in the item that you need, and then... We need a seed to fertilize the process, apparently. So let me grab a seed here, just any seed, apparently. So, uh, the, the sweet potato seed. <laughs> Hopefully that works. Maybe, I don't know, it said any seed. Um, boom, and we got the pure daisy. Awesome. So, now I need more of, the, of these mystical white flowers um, to get the pure daisy, because I need, I believe, at least two. Because one of the things that we want to make today is the mana pool. Maybe I only need the one... Hold on, let me see. Usages... No, because we want to make something with this, with the mana uh, living wood here. So... I need to go hunting for some... Uh, white flowers. So as an example, we can see some flowers growing right here. Mystical light grey flower. So what we need to find is basically a white mystical flower somewhere here in the wild. It's just spawn randomly. I don't think it has anything to do with biome because I'm seeing a bunch of different ones. So hopefully that's not going to be an issue. But as you can see, we have blue here. We have purple over there or pink or whatever. 
So yeah, I just need to find a white flower. Now these do not count. These are not the ones. It has to be the ones from Botania specifically. So I guess a little bit of a tip, if you are planning on playing with Botania, it is a good idea when you start your world or when you know that you want to be working with Botania, start collecting the mythical flowers um, because you will most likely be needing them. In this case, specifically the white ones because... It seems like you need those in order to begin your journey in Botania. So that, that, um, note that down. Also, what could help searching maybe is be in a five mode because then you can see and you basically your screen can cover a little bit of a bigger area. So you might catch something you wouldn't if you were just walking around like this. So interesting, I mean, yeah, let me, uh, let me hunt for these. <laughs> Give me a moment. Gonna be a second for you. Gonna be a while for me. Hold up. Are these it? No. They're... Light snack. Okay. I thought that was it. They looked like it. Wait. Hold up. Same. Not the actual thing that I'm looking for. It doesn't help that you are surrounded by a desert either, because it seems like they do not spawn in deserts. Finally! Finally, I found a patch of them! Okay, I'm taking every single one of these. <laughs> so that's 12 and 2 of the tall ones. Okay. Very good. Time to head home and use them. now. I'm wondering, if I place one down, will it spread? That is the question, because if it does, then I'm gonna place one on the grass somewhere and hopefully it will um, it will spread and, well, make more flowers, but we'll see. Time to head home. All right, home at last. I'm gonna place a flower right here and I'm gonna hope that it uh, it spreads. Now, I need just two more of these, but I'm, mm, I might as well. I'm gonna save these tall ones because they actually give four, so I'm gonna try and make all mine uh, tall before I actually go ahead and use them. But anyway, we now have four here, so water bucket, four of these, and then a seed, capuche, and we have two pure uh, daisy right here, which is exactly what we need. So let's put all that away. So the way we use these, uh, actually we need a few things. We need eight logs, which I don't have, uh, amazing. <laughs> and then we need eight stone. So eight stone, and I believe it is logs, right? Yeah, logs, so might have to chop down a tree here, but what I basically need to do is I need to place the stone in a circle with one space in between. Oh, hi, you kind of scared me, fella. You kind of scared me, not gonna lie. He like came out of nowhere. All right, let's uh, let's chop this tree down, get some logs, and we have a guest. Do you have anything for trade? Nope, nothing. You're gonna be annoying. You're gonna be very annoying, actually. All right, I think we should be able to do this now without any interruptions. So I'm gonna place the logs just like I did the stone in a circle like this, and we're simply going to place our daisy in there. And as you can see, a bunch of particles are happening on the stone and the logs, and this will convert them into living stone and living wood. Um, now we just need to wait for it to happen. <laughs> Which, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure how long it actually takes. Could be minutes. I'll be right back with you. And there we go, it happened. I didn't catch the actual transformation, but basically just replaced them all. Did a sound like... And then... A bunch of white particles appeared. Um, <laughs> but that is the... This thing does not disappear. Hold up. The flower doesn't disappear. Can I keep doing this? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I keep doing this? I will assume that I can. I can. At least a little bit more. Okay, cool. I'm gonna try and catch it this time because we will then be uh, moving on with our next task, which is to make an axe because <laughs> I need one for this stuff. Uh, put the stone away. So here we have the living rock. Did I call it living stone? I don't know.
But anyways, we got that, 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 we got that. Now, what we want to do next is... There's a, there's a flower. Before we do that, though, let's grab this wood before the sun sets. Hopefully, I'll catch the stone actually doing this thing. Maybe. I want to catch it on camera. There we go. That's what it did. Okay, so these flowers are still here. Awesome. That's really good. So we can actually reuse them. I only needed one then. I thought they would get consumed, but apparently not. All right. So the next thing we need to make is basically this thing. The hydro... And... Yes. Hydro... Thingy thing. Um... Wait, what on earth is it? Okay, this is the one that we need. <laughs> this is the one that we need right here. So this basically, if we look at the guide here, which is extremely loud, by the way, I'm sorry about that. Um, they act as liquid-based passive generators. They suck up any still water in a 3x3 area at the same altitude around them, converting the water into mana. Unfortunately, even though they seem to function faster during the rain, the base mana, blah, 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 blah. So this is basically how we will generate mana. But before that, before that, we need to make something else. Uh, living wood. I need to find it first, though. I believe it is this one right here. The mana spreader. So for that, we need a uh, mystical uh, cyan or blue. Okay, any petal, apparently. Gold and then six living wood to get the mana spreader. Um, I believe I'm doing this right. So we have a gold. Let's get that. And don't I have a random... Okay, whatever. We need the cyan here. And the blue, anyway, those llamas, <laughs> they're annoying. All right, so that, that, gold, blue, that is the mana spreader right there. And then here we have the mana pool. And, right. I think, I think I might got have this, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I do. So basically right now I need a 3x3 three three water thing, which has to be the same height as, hold up, it has to be the same height as the hydro thingy thing. So I need to, I need to make this look a little bit better. All right, sandstone stairs should do for now. So if I do something like this, Hopefully this is at not enough. Hopefully this is actually going to work. So now I just need to get water in here. Place water there. Place water there. And then in that corner. And that should fill up the rest. So now we need to make this thing. So we should just need to combine that into a thing here. And then a seed, still a seed to fertilize the process. Not an issue, we have plenty of sweet potato cheese, cheese seeds. And boom. Now we have this thing. Which, if we place it here. No? Okay, so I think it is actually working. So we need to place that there, and then... I think we need to use this thingy the mana spreader and I need to remember how on earth it is that we actually go ahead and bind this thing because we need to bind it um, with something and I don't remember how so let me look that up as well all right apparently I'm missing something so we need a wand of the forest which we get by living wood twig and using any sort of petal and we get one twig from two living woods. So it appears that I need more living wood. <laughs> so I'm going to get that real quick and I'll be right back when I am ready to proceed. All right, a little bit more progress. So I have made the wand of the forest right here. And basically when you hold this, you can see. So the mana spreader, if I right click this, you can see there comes an outline. And then I right shift right click this again. You can see that this mana spreader is now targeting this mana pool. So now what we want is basically for this flower right here to insert mana into this. This then de redirects it into that. Now I just need to find out why on earth this isn't working. Because from what I can tell, this thing should work. But it's not. 
So I'm clearly doing something wrong here. Okay, we have progress. So I don't know what has been happening before, but as you can see, we are now getting some very, some very small particles here on this flower, meaning that it is actually working. And as you can see, we just saw that this is now blue. So we are in fact now generating mana and putting it into this thing right here. I don't know what I did wrong before. I guess these had to be solid blocks or something. Um, but one thing to note as well is that this thing is very, very slow. And also it has a, um, it, don't, it, it doesn't last forever. It will run out eventually of energy. Um, and then, yeah, you can't use it anymore. But you just saw as well the green, like the green flow of energy shooting into this mana pool right here. And as you can see, there is, I can't really point it out, but to the left of that bar, you can see a tiny pixel that is blue. And that is, um, that is our mana right here. It doesn't fill up much and it doesn't fill up um, very quickly. As you can see here as well, the mana is building up in this thing. Um, but that's that <laughs> um I, again i don't know what i what i did wrong before but i assume my these had to be full blocks or something i'm not sure it should have worked but i'm guessing it, it just can't be stairs i've just made another one so i'm gonna pop this one in here it has to be on dirt by the way they have to sit on dirt um and that that is connected to this as well very cool so guys we're making our first mana now this method is not very efficient but that is that's that was my research i need to do some more research in other ways you can make mana and then how you can actually use that mana um because this obviously is not very efficient um but it's a start and i'm happy with it plus we got a bunch of terraforming done as well to finish off this episode i'm going to make a quick cactus farm right there at time lapse and then let's see how much mana we actually end up with when we're done. Um, if I just break this, you can see it does have a health bar there. So it does get depleted slowly. But um, as long as it lives, this mana pool will keep growing. So I'm going to make a quick cactus farm. And I'll see you at the end of it. There it is. Hopefully this should work. I know that fence gate annoys me just as much as you. It, it annoys you. <laughs> I'll replace it when I have the wood for it. But in theory, this should now work. Um, obviously, there's not going to be anything yet. And it is very small. It is going to be not very fast whatsoever. But it is going to hopefully give us some cactus so that when we do need it, Hopefully we will have quite a bit. Now let's take a look over here by the mana pool. I did take a little bit of a sneak peek. Um, fine mode, function mode, interesting. But as you can see, it actually has moved by one pixel. <laughs> and that is um, how slow these guys are. And as you can see, this thing is half drained and this thing is one third of the way there. Um, so yeah, this is a very slow method. But I will be researching on how to get mana faster and quicker and then also what we can use the mana for. But for now, that is going to be it for this episode. Um, I also need a, a, a specific place to put this. I'm not sure where. Maybe over here, flat this out or something. I don't know yet. Something along those lines. But anyways, guys, I'm going to call it here as the sun is setting. I really hope you have enjoyed. We are probably going to continue Batania in the next episode. So, yeah. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.